family, welcome back to Beach Week on my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cremate... Cremate? Wait, what? Cremate? No, create boat shelves using popsicle sticks. One cost me $2 to make and one cost me $3 to make, so I'm so happy with how they came out at that price point. There's always things you can do to customize it. You can paint it if you want to. You can actually use real wood. That's something that's up to you, but hopefully this gives you some inspiration. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. As always, please give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we get this video to 600 likes. Also, I wanna say thank you to everybody who's been giving my videos a thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much. You don't even know, like it helps with the growth of it and it just it makes me so happy because I feel like I'm not just putting out videos that people are gonna watch and be like bleh so thank you so much for that also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you're not you'll be notified every single time that I upload join the bargain family we like to save our money here with that being said let's begin the video so I'm starting this off by taking this 100 count of popsicle sticks now it's the smaller popsicle sticks aka the normal size popsicle sticks that Dollar Tree sells so for the base of the boat I take a popsicle stick and I lie it horizontally then I glue two popsicle sticks to both ends of the horizontal popsicle stick and glue them on vertically. Then I glue a, another popsicle stick horizontally to the top of the two sticks. Then I flip that over so it makes a square. Then I place another popsicle stick horizontally over the two popsicle sticks. Then I glue on two more popsicle sticks that are going vertically on the top of the popsicle stick I just glued on. Then I add another popsicle stick horizontally to the top of those two. And I take two more popsicle sticks and I glue them so that they cross each other so the top makes a triangle, so I overlap them. And I basically keep repeating this pattern. I messed up a few times where I ended up messing up the pattern and that was fine for me. I didn't end up fixing it just to kind of make sure that everything was even. I would add a popsicle stick here and there. So if there was an area that was looking a little bit smaller or lopsided, I would just layer popsicle sticks going in the same direction to even it out. And it's pretty easy to do. I mean, if you want it to be perfect, you can always take the popsicle stick off and fix everything. But I just didn't because I'm not like that. I'm not very picky, especially since I know it's going to be covered up. Think about it this way. You're making two squares that attach to each other and on the very top of them there's a triangle. It doesn't matter what glue you use and you just want to make it as thick as you want to. I only used one pack of the popsicle sticks so I made it as thick as I could where I would have enough popsicle sticks to cover the back as well. Once I've had most of the base done, I took two popsicle sticks and I glued them to the very top but I made them a little bit longer than the rest of the popsicle sticks that make up the triangle, if that makes sense. They just kind of overlapped and went out a little bit more. I did that so that what I'm going to be gluing on next had a really good base up there to stick to. So what I'm doing to give the boat the wooden appearance and more so the shape of a boat is taking this vinyl cover from Dollar Tree. It has a wooden appearance and I'm placing the base of the boat on top of it. Then I'm taking a marker and I'm using it to trace the inside squares and triangles so I could get the perfect cutout for them. Then I am taking a ruler or a measuring tape and I'm just kind of drawing on the design of the boat on top of the vinyl cover so I can take my scissors and cut the shape out. I measured about an inch away from each side of the boat and on the bottom as well and then when I drew the shape of the boat on I just kind of freehanded that but I only did it on one side. Then I took my scissor and I cut the shape out but when I cut the shape out the side that I did the outline of for the boat I take the piece that I cut off and then I flip it over onto the side that I didn't cut out yet and then I just trace that piece so then I end up getting the perfect shape on both sides so they're perfectly even. It's just an easy way to get both sides to be very similar to each other without having to measure everything out. Just cut one side out, take that piece, flip it over, trace it, and then cut the rest out. Then I glue the vinyl to the popsicle sticks. If the vinyl is kind of lifted and it's not really lying properly on some of the popsicle sticks because there's a gap, just slide a popsicle stick under and then put some glue and then that way the vinyl will be able to have a really good base under it. After I've done that, I start to put popsicle sticks on the backing 
of the boat. Now, when you get to the top, you're gonna need the popsicle sticks to be smaller. So what you do is you just take a scissor and cut it. Be careful when doing it because if you just take the scissor and straight up cut it, you're gonna end up splitting the popsicle stick. So just kind of do it slowly. So the only part that splits is the part that you don't want. Don't throw away the ends that you didn't use that split just yet you're going to end up wanting to use them also make sure you leave a little gap at the top so you can hang this on a nail i like to use command strips but i'm showing you guys if you leave a little gap up there you can hang it on a nail now i'm just taking some more vinyl cover and i'm just using it to cover up the sides and the top of the boat and then you're done you can go ahead and fill it up with whatever you like i wanted to add a little something else so what i did was i took a jumbo popsicle stick i cut it to look like a paddle and then I took one of the split ends, attached that to a regular size popsicle stick just to the top, and then I glued the jumbo size popsicle stick to the regular size popsicle stick, and then it looked like a paddle, and I glued two paddles to the sides of the boat. The boat with the seahorse, I made it the same way. I just made it taller and not as deep, plus I glued the seahorse to it. If you wanna know how I made the seahorse, make sure you check out the video I uploaded yesterday. I'll have a link down below and also at the end of this video. So that is it for the tutorial. I'm so happy with how these turned out. These are one of the, my favorite things I've made in a very, very long time. And I just love them because they're so inexpensive to make and they're very easy to make. So as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Beach Week tutorials. Take care. Bye.